Okay, so now that we're on the inside, we were just doing guys, we were doing the under, uh, the under row drills with the tie cut. So Kyle's going to go and get the double unders, and then I don't want to let him, I'm going to come in here. Right? I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to snake my hand underneath. You guys can go check out the other videos that we've done about the tie pitch drills like this. Now, what I want to do is get the others to just uh, pause, to get double unders on my uh, yeah. Now, so what he wants to do essentially when he's got double unders, he wants to push my head down into the knees, right? Go ahead. Wait. Now, the real key here is not being on the neck. Again, if you're on top of the head, I can posture up. I mean, if, I, if I'm really like trading points, I'm going to posture either way. But if, go ahead and put your hands on the back of my neck, right? I can posture from here all day. But when he comes higher on the head, go ahead, go ahead. It's really hard for me to posture up. Yeah, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I mean, what I would have to do here is another technique to get out of this. We'll go over that in a second. But, right now, he wants to go ahead and throw it in. Yeah, all right, cool. So when he throws that knee, he wants to hit his knee onto a soft target of mine, right? Like, he wants to do as much damage with his knee strike as possible. What we're going to be aiming for is the bridge of the nose where the eye sockets here. If you can break his head down and manage to twist it and bring your knee to the side of his face, and that's great. But it's easier said than done. So what I, all I want to do right now is I want to go ahead. I'm going to come here. He's going to get double unders on me. Right? And then I'm going to stay my hand under, and as soon as I get there, I'm going to break his head down and throw a mock and knee strike. Again, don't hit each other in the fucking head with a knee that sucks. But I'm going to get double unders, you're going to get double unders on me, then I'm going to sneak, and as soon as I get here, boom. Alright, and then again, it's important when we train this, like literally we do a half knee, you don't even risk it, right? Yeah, it's up. Um, but the caveat here and why this drill is different and special, and why you're fighting something this is different and special, is because we make it hard, right? We don't just come get the, the others, right? We don't just come and he's not gonna just let them do it. He's going to actively be trying to resist me. And I want him to, if I don't do this fast enough, I want him to get the double unders back on me. Yeah, right? Go ahead, go ahead. And then and then in that case, pull my head down to the Oh, good. So he's not gonna let me get it. He's going to be actively resisting, and if I'm not quick enough, then it's going to happen to me. So again, one more time, this girl's going to look like this. I'll start here with the double unders. One, two, ha, boom. And then what it's going to look like if I'm not fast enough. One, two, boom. All right? So make your partner work for it. Don't give them easy shit. Again, this is good. If we ever have to use this shit on the streets, in the battlefield, I don't want some soft pussy with me. I want a man who I know is dangerous and can fight. Alright, so guys, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Go to fightingtickets.com is the website. We've got great online training packages available direct down Nice, easy, simple, effective, brutal, and ruthless. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Ready, guys?